Christmas just ended. I want Christmas. <laughs> I want Christmas. I want it again. <laughs> I want Christmas. Can you imagine Christmas has ended? Now I have to wait another 52 weeks. <laughs> My God. I feel tired already. How how did how did Christmas just end? Like how? Like just one day like this and it. But <laughs> Christmas. I miss Christmas already. But anyway. On to the next 52 weeks <laughs> as we live our lives to the fullest. Welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work and life and how to balance both worlds. This is the final video in our series on living life to the fullest. And I think for me, this is like now at the when you followed the, the three videos in the series, this last one is, is it living intentionally living with intentionality being intentional with life um so um this is probably going to be the shortest video because this is a new year and i know that you have things to do so you'll not listen to the full video but here are the six things that i believe um helped me to start to live a life of intentionality one i decided to the reason was because I was going through anxiety, I was going through depression. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do as Manuela, uh, the employer, Manuela, the wife, the Manuela, the mother, the Manuela, the friend, the Manuel, Manuela, the, 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 the daughter. I wasn't doing any of those things. I was, I was juggling so many balls <laughs> and I couldn't catch any. Like I just could when I have a hold of one, another one, all of them, my world was crumbling. And so I decide i i said no that I, I can't live like this anymore i really honestly can't and so just that getting tired and deciding that was for me the first step to living a life of intentionality the second step was i found my purpose i found my purpose so i knew every day the reason as to why i was waking up and therefore how the different balls that i juggle fit in you know what i mean like how do they fit into why i am here so that then there is a level of import prioritization and level of importance of each area of my life because I know that I know what my purpose is I know what each area of how each area of my life feeds into the purpose and which one comes first right and so I know which ball like when I'm juggling the ball that has to be in my hands that I can't let drop the rest can drop but there are certain balls that can't drop because I know what my purpose here on earth is the third one was to know my core values to identify my core values because then they would guide me in this journey of living my purpose they would be like my compass to show me that mm, here stop here no here okay here you know so for me my values and my value system um my husband keeps telling me when i ask for your values your value your values but i can say for a fact that they've brought me, they've, they've reached to me here. You know what I mean? So have a value, have values that you, you can use to guide you and to steer you when you've lost direction, when you don't know what to do. You need to kind of have that place where you refer uh, back to. Then the fourth thing was to leave or identify your boundaries. Freedom is best expressed and best experienced within the confines of a boundary and i i know that like that's a hard concept to do and maybe one day i'll do a live session on it 
you, many times people believe that freedom is when you have no boundaries but true freedom is when there is a boundary and the confines within which you play that ensure that you remain safe bound i mean freedom without boundaries means that you open your life up to risks very high risks and pain so is that true freedom that you get into pain anyway one day i'll do a life <laughs> a live session on that the fifth thing that you want to do is to plan 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 because then you when you leave the plan that you have set out you're being intentional aren't you you know what i mean you're now being intentional because you're living according to the plan that you yourself has set out and then sixth and last one is to surround yourself with people who are living intentionally. If there's people around you who are not living a life with intention, you're not going to live a life of intention. So surround yourself with people that are living a life of intention. And so I want to invite you to a space where there's various people living a life of intention in the Papa Circuit. That it's an annual membership group where we come together discuss self do self-discovery self-awareness learn our purpose know our purpose build a brand around our purpose because we are here to be intentional but also you can be a part of my intention early coaching or my intention early mentorship programs i'll leave those uh, i'll leave links to those two programs also in the description box now i need to wish you a happy new year I wish you a happy new year. I wish you fulfillment. I wish you joy. I wish you happiness. I wish you a beautiful year. I wish you the best year yet. I was going to say ever, but I'm going to say the best year yet. This 2023. And I want to tell you that we've seen how fast 2022 has run. 2023 will be faster. 2023 will be just as fast. So I would like you to, I'd like to invite you to live a life of it. Until next time, until next year. Happy New Year. See you. Bye-bye.